Hello everyone, it's Asate Games. Today I am going to show you how you can make a camera follow the player smoothly with default. For this, I have this project that you can download from the link I am going to leave to the comment section. I share the project files on my itch.io page. It's asategames.itch.io. If you go to this page, you can download all the projects I use with my tutorials. While you are there, make sure to follow. For this tutorial, I have learned what we have used so far. I have two files, one from tile tutorial and one from the tile sheet animation tutorial. From the tile tutorial, I used tiled, the external program to create a tile map. So play, we can see the player is moving. And from the Tile sheet animation tutorial. I have this player animation tile source where we control the player's animations. If you don't know how to make the player move or how to create the tile map with auto tile with terrains, then you can go and watch these videos. But in this video, I won't be teaching about them, but I will show how you can use a camera to follow the player so a player cannot go outside of the window. To make this first, go to main collection, right click to the collection and add a game object. Let's name it as camera parent. After that, add a component to the camera parent, add camera as component. As you can see, camera doesn't have any position or rotation because you can't control position or rotation of the camera directly. That's why you need to first create a game object and attach the camera to it. But we can move the camera parent as you can see. If you press Ctrl and use right click, you will see the world is actually 3D even though we are developing a 2D game. And if you look close enough, we only have a point of view on the map right now. So to be able to see things, we need to change camera parent's position. I think 600 is fine. After that, we will need to create a script. Right click, new script and name it as camera parent dot script on the init function we have this line this line makes sure we are seeing what the camera shows after that we on the update function we first get our position then we get player's position player is on the main collection and named player that's why we use main and player after that, we create a vector named xy vector. We use vector mat to get a vector tree out of it. And we use players x and y values for this vector. But we set the z value from the camera parent. The reason why we do that is we are going to make the camera follow the player's position and if you take the player's position directly, uh, Z value as well, then camera and player's position will, will overlap and the camera will not be able to see player or anything else. Then we use position equals vector mat and lerp. We use lerp for smoothness. This value decides how smooth it's going to be. If you set this to 1, it's not going to be smooth at all. If you set this to 0, 0, 001, it is going to take too long for this to catch up. So I think point zero three is fine for this tutorial. It's also easy to see. The second variable on the LERP is where you start from. And the third variable is where you want to end up at. Then after the lerp, we set the game object's position. For this to take effect, we need to add the script to the parent. 
right click to the parent and add component file select the camera parent script now if we use ctrl b to run the game you will see camera actually follows but the visuals a bit stretched out so to solve this go to camera and select auto aspect ratio then let's test again and as you can see camera smoothly follows the player if you change the first variable in the lerp method then you are going to get different results so you can test it out and see what suits the best for your needs and this is how you can make a camera follow the player smoothly with default i will leave the link for this project to the comment section thank you for watching and have a nice day